Okay, so we start at the um, on the side of the hand, karate chop point. There's a line at the base of the pinky. We're on the side of the hand under that. Even though I feel overwhelmed by the complexity of the situation, and I'm not sure what to do, or I don't want to do it, I accept myself. I accept where I am in this journey. And I love myself. Even though it all feels like a lot and I'm feeling lost in it, I accept that and I accept myself floundering. And right now I love myself. Even though it's a big can of worms and I sometimes don't even wanna to touch it, I fully accept myself. I deeply love myself. And now we go to the crown. You can do fingers or flat hand. This sense of overwhelm by how complex it all is. It's very familiar. And I do not like it. inner eyebrow, I can feel where I'm making myself wrong. Like the right version of me would have clarity. Outer eye. Or the right version of me would just go for it, take a next step. Under the eye, I acknowledge that I'm not there yet. Under the nose. And I hate it when I try to rush myself. Sometimes I dig my heels in more when I do that. Or I just feel hopeless. chin point. I don't like the part of myself that feels like everything is hard. Under the clavicle round. Uh, I just heard myself say everything. When I get overwhelmed by the complexities, I globalize it. Okay. Now we're going to go one hand with a, from the base of the armpit and tap where the bottom of the hand lands on the side of the ribs. I really want to find the ease here. I'm not sure how. A part of me may think I don't deserve ease. Or I could still believe on some level that's not the way of it. It has to be hard. So now we go to the crown to reach for better feeling thoughts. I can also access the part of me who believes there is ease and flow. inner eyebrow. I can access the part of me who believes I deserve 
to flow with the current. Outer eye. I love remembering that I've been in the flow before. Under the eye, upper cheekbone. And I wasn't necessarily, in fact, I, I was pretty certainly not clear before I got there. Under the nose, I did get there. And I knew less before than I do now. And I trusted myself less. And I trusted life less. Chin point. Right now I can think of one thing in my life that fell into my lap. And go ahead and name the thing out loud and then just watch the movies because there's probably more than one thing coming to you. Under the clavicle round. Right now I can remember a dark time that I've been through that I thought I might get stuck in. And I didn't get stuck. Grace found me. Side of the ribs. Just right now, I release all self-judgment. All idea that I should be doing better. Keep finding the breath when you're not talking. Let's go to the crown. In fact, I'm doing great. In fact, I keep showing up, learning, seeking, exploring, experimenting, inner eyebrow. I wish I did this more often. I wish I remembered to acknowledge how amazing my journey has been. Side of the eye. I really love how guided I am. I love that I've gotten better at noticing and following the guidance. under the eye, upper cheekbone. I also just don't want to give myself hell when I resist the guidance and talk back. That's pretty normal. Under the nose. I love when I remember it's not all up to me. I am not alone. Chin point. I have all manner of spiritual support. I don't even need to fully understand how to name it, where it comes from.
And I'm so open to more of it. Under the clavicle round. And I love the amazing way the universe comes to me as human faces of God. And I know when what they're saying is right for me or not. I can take it, toss it, or tweak it. Side of the ribs. My inner guidance system lets me know what's hitting me right. Round. And I don't get, I don't have to get the actions right, right away. I get to just aim roughly in the right direction. This will be our last round. Inner eyebrow. I trust my capacity to course correct as I go. Side of the eye. I love when I remember that guidance comes in now for now. That guidance can change from one moment to the next. Under the eye. My job is paying attention. And my guidance system doesn't punish me for anything I miss or resist. Under the nose. My guidance system keeps coming around with the next suggestion, the next direction, the next possibility and the next way to get relief. Chin point. Right now I commit to valuing relief much more. I commit to reaching for relief before I reach for solutions or actions. Let's go to the clavicle round and say that again. I commit to reaching first for relief. And later for solutions and actions. Side of the ribs. I can actually right now see a beautiful vision of only taking inspired action, of only acting out of alignment, of allowing the relief to take me to the alignment Crown point, last one. And the actions will happen because I'm on planet Earth where we do stuff. I just don't need to force it or orchestrate it or figure it all out or give myself hell when I think I should be doing more. My job is alignment. And all of life wants me to find that flow into the right next action 
or the right receptivity to what's dropping in. All for my good and the greater good. Now let's just drop our hands down and uh, feel the reverberations of the tapping, feel the breath. Feel your whole nervous system as it dropped down. Has your experience of breathing changed? Do you feel more hope, optimism, clarity, anything that feels better mentally? Have your emotions shifted? And then did anything come up for you in the tapping, something that was said that felt like too much of a reach or like you don't believe that or like, ooh, that causes you stress to say, and then that's your cue for where to head next in your work. Possibly with it, you could do a very next tapping session right after, or not, or do something else, or do something later. And I invite you to open your eyes first, all for you with soft gaze and peripheral vision included and then come back to focus.